Cuddling Kids. Cuddling Kids, we have Play-Doh Kitchen Creations. And a pom-pom caterpillar. What's that caterpillar? Oh, you're very hungry? Well, let's make you something out of the kitchen. Let's take a look at our kitchen creation set. Look at all these tools. And these are our Play-Doh colors. We have orange, yellow, red, green, blue, and white. Let's make some nice, healthy lettuce for our caterpillar. That's really the best thing for a caterpillar to eat. Okay, caterpillar, your lettuce is ready. No! Let's try something else then. How about some nice cheese? We'll use yellow to make the cheese. Yes, you like the cheese. Okay, good. Your cheese is all gone and you're still hungry. Well, you like the cheese so much. Let's try a hot dog. Yes, you like the hot dog too. That's good. More? You are a very hungry caterpillar. This reminds me of a book. I will read it to you if you eat your lettuce. All done? Okay, let's take a peek at the very hungry caterpillar. Stick around after our story to learn how to make a pom-pom caterpillar. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. Craft time. For this craft, you will need a large popsicle stick, glue, and lots of colorful pom-poms. Place glue on the popsicle stick and then put the pom-poms in the glue.
You will also need a piece of black construction paper and some scissors to make some antenna. Cut the antenna into the shape of a V and glue onto the caterpillar. What are you going to feed your very hungry caterpillar? For the full story, please purchase this book or check it out at your local library. For more Cuddling Kids, please subscribe.